welcome to another CAD Dimensions Tech Tip. My name is Jesse. In this week's Tech Tip, we're going to be taking a look at a composer technique for animation, specifically regarding explodes. It's well known that Composer is one of the easiest products to create exploded animations with. Here we can see all I have to do is set a keyframe for my components where they are, move my timeline, and create an explode. To do that, we go to the Transform tab and use our exploded modes. In this case, I'll use Linear. From the Linear Explode, we can drag in the direction we want and store the locations. Now we'll see a nice quick animation of the components exploding while being equally spaced. Pretty easy, right? But what if we want each one of those components to come out on their own? Well, then we've got to go in and set each keyframe for each component. Or do we? Let's undo what we just did. Rather than using the linear explode on its own, let's take a look at the dropdown underneath. From here, we can see there's another option called part by part linear. Now this option is only available in animations and with auto keys turned on. Now I'll be honest, I don't usually animate with auto keys turned on, but here's a scenario where it works to our benefit. Let's choose this mode and see what it does. I'll do the same procedure that I just did a moment ago. We'll stretch this out, say somewhere around here, and let go. Now initially it looks like it does exactly the same thing, but if we check out our timeline, you can see auto keys has created individual keys for our components. Now when we scrub through the timeline, we'll see each one of those components will move on their own. Pretty cool. Now all we have to do is adjust our viewport to accommodate and we're all set. Now don't forget, if we want to adjust the entire speed of the animation, box select and we can scale our keys using the black selection at the bottom. If I want to reverse the process, control and drag, right click, invert time selection, and we can speed this up a little bit. We'll zoom in for the final shot, and we're good to go. And that's it. Well, I hope you enjoyed this week's tech tip, and I hope to see you back next week. Don't forget to check us out on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, and our blog for more great content by clicking on the links in the description below. 